is how I play the game! That is an epic fucking intro, dude. And I have to warn everyone. Warning. What you may see right now is going to be absolutely disgusting. Sound good? Alright. That sounds good to me. By the way, I should bring this up. Now that I'm using Streamlabs instead of Muxy, I've been doing this for two days. I haven't really had a single problem. <clears throat> and people, the overwhelming feedback is Streamlabs is good. People are liking it. Um, I now have the ability to do new things. Like, for example, during the marathon that I'm going to do a week from today, I'm going to have a tips goal set up where I'm going to have a bar that's going to be increasing during the course of the day. I'm not setting up a tips goal. Reason being, the tips goal is kind of a... It's not necessarily honest because, like I said... If I could raise seventeen thousand dollars, yeah, that would make mean all mean all my taxes are, are are taken care of. That would be the ideal state. It's also incredibly unreasonable. You know what I mean? I don't think that's gonna happen. That's insane. Um, but no matter what I raise, it helps. So you know that's kind of why I'd rather do a total tips rather than a tips goal, because I think a tips goal is kind of dishonest. I basically need help. All right, you know. And I'm hoping that putting up a tips goal every day will motivate people to tip me. <laughs> King of hypocrisy. Very, very, very hypocritical. So the closer we get to the goal, the bar will go up and up and up and fill up during the course of the day. So how cool is that? You know, that's the kind of stuff that with Muxy didn't really work very well. I tried it a few times and then I kind of gave up on it. But apparently, Streamlabs has all these capabilities. And so I'm going to be doing that for that kind of stuff. Okay? Coming up. Friday is my big birthday bash marathon, everybody. That's right. It's coming Friday, April 5th. The big birthday bash marathon. From 10 a.m. until 10 p.m. I will be live streaming a wide variety of games, including... Okay, ready? Including... Hold on. Well, I forgot I even had this thing. Okay, including <laughs> Call of Duty Black Ops 4 Blackout. That's my Battle Royale, okay, or Battle Royale, however you want to say it. Um, Sekiro, okay. Uh, probably going to squeeze in a little bit of Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered. And I'm thinking for the chill segment of the stream, MLB 19. Now, allow me to explain, because this marathon is going to be a little different from the last one. The last marathon, I played six games, and each game I played for, like, 90 minutes to two hours. That was too much, in my opinion. Like, I think like, I crammed in too many games, and out of those games, there were several games that you guys didn't really care that much about. Like, Donkey Kong Country 2, um, Super Mario RPG. You know, when I played those games, it basically kind of killed the hype of the stream. Okay? And what I want to do this time around is only narrow it down to only, say, four games. However, what I want to do is make the games that are popular... Or the games that did the best in the first marathon as the main features of the stream. This kind of shit needs to come out. This kind of shit needs to be exposed for what it is. Alright, it's pure greed and theft. It's illegal. This guy is a thief. And then, of course, a thousand troll responses of negativity. He's greed and... Oh, it's Phil's greed. Oh, it's greed. Phil wants more. He always wants more. It's greed. It's greed. Greed is massively strong. I have no fucking self-control. So, for example, um, Sekiro, this early on, this is not fun. This isn't fun. It's work. That's what they mean. The game is work. It's not fun. It's work. Oh, yeah. I'll never get a job or pay taxes. <laughs> and Blackout will end up being the longer segments of this marathon, okay? Probably three or more hours of each of those games. The other two games will be considered the cooldown games. And what I mean by that is... Um, basically, those will be the games to break up stuff. So if I play three to three and a half hours of Sekiro, all right, and I'm all amped up and everything from playing it, and I'll rage, then do maybe an hour and a half of MLB, 
to calm me down. See what I mean? We can just relax. We can have some interactivity while I just play a little bit of MLB and, and wail on some baseballs and kind of relax. Then we go back to more, you know, more more interesting stuff. You see what I mean? I think that's a better way to do it. So we'll see. But definitely, you know, I, I, I learned from the last marathon, don't put those Nintendo games in there because those basically kind of killed the hype of the stream. And then when I, I went back to Black Ops 4 Blackout, boom, all of a sudden everyone came back and everyone was excited and everyone was engaged again. <clears throat> Now, here's the deal with this marathon on Friday, okay? This is the last week, this week starting today through Saturday. It's the last week that I have to raise funds for my taxes. You guys know if you've been tuning in recently, you know the big situation I'm in. I have to raise a lot of money in a very short period of time in order to tackle my taxes in the month of April. And if I don't, I'm screwed. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'll basically be def defaulting on taxes and... Uh, more than likely by the end of this year, we'll have to sell my house to pay them. I don't know what else to do. All right. Oh, no, no I can't make up enough money to pay my bills. I have to declare bankruptcy. Then so be it. That's what I would do. So what I'm trying to do this week is put out hype content for you. Yet these, these fuckers slurp it up like fucking noodles. Like, hype. Oh, ooh, I gotta eat it. I gotta eat it. I gotta eat the hype. Oh, In particular, this big birthday bash marathon. I'm hoping it's successful, because it needs to be, okay? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> um, the whole point is to raise tips for my taxes. Tips, you know, I get, I get right away, and I'm able to put them towards things like my taxes. Okay? What I'm going to be doing during this marathon on Friday is I'm going to have some Streamlabs things implemented. For example, I'm going to have a tips bar that's going to be filling up over the course of the day depending on the amount of tip contributions that I get. I'm not setting up a tips goal. Reason being, the tips goal is kind of a... It's not necessarily honest, but no matter what I raise, it helps. So, you know, that's kind of why I'd rather do a total tips rather than a tips goal. Because I think a tips goal is kind of dishonest. That's insanely dishonest. Dishonesty for me is a big thing. It's like the ultimate betrayal. You know what I mean? That guy is such a two-faced fat piece of shit. He pisses me off. Like, I seriously hate people like that. That are so fucking dishonest and two-faced. And, and will do anything to make a fucking nickel. He's disgusting. So I'm going to have a tips goal that I'm reaching for, for that day. And it's going to, you know, basically reach for it. And hopefully this will motivate people to contribute because those kind of tools usually work. Okay. So I'm excited for Friday. It's going to be a fun day. 12 or 10 to 10, 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. The big birthday bash marathon for me. Hopefully people will come out and be generous. And I could put a big dent in these taxes in this tax situation okay and then on saturday april 6th that's my actual birthday by the way um i will be um doing two fun things first of all the return of apex legends co-op yes i've confirmed i talked to brian and he wants to do apex legends co-op again um now that apex legends now has new content it should be a pretty fun stream so that's saturday april 6th <laughs> I'm going to be doing uh, a, a full stream of Apex Legends co-op with Brian and hopefully Kekin. I don't know. I have to talk to Kekin. I've been trying to reach him. I haven't reached him yet. Um, but we're going to be doing that on Saturday. A fun co-op stream on my birthday. And then that night, so that Saturday night. So yeah, I am actually streaming my entire birthday. I'm streaming all day. Uh, probably Sekiro. And at that point, I mean, you got to think about this. I'm playing Sekiro tomorrow. That's four hours. I may be playing it Tuesday. That's another four hours. I'm playing it. Thursday, that's another four hours. I'm playing it during the marathon, that's another three and a half hours. And then if I'm playing it Saturday night, I'm thinking I might even finish it. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how far I get to this week. Apparently people are saying, at this point, I'm about halfway through it. So maybe I'll beat it. I don't know. It depends on really how well I do as well. If I'm sucking ass and dying a million times to things, I probably won't finish it. You know? So I guess we'll see. But I'm thinking maybe I'll finish it by this weekend. Okay. Um... So, we'll see, but that's what, probably what I'm going to be doing uh, Saturday night, um, and, and go from there. So, the final stream 
of the week before I take time away to go to Connecticut to visit my parents will be Sekiro. <laughs> the right way to end it, I think, because everyone is loving my playthrough of that game and wants to see more, right? So, so there you go. This week, a variety. You're going to have Sekiro balanced with Super Mario RPG and MLB and other stuff. A big birthday bash marathon this Friday where I'm trying to do the last hurrah, raise funds for my taxes. And then on my actual birthday, April 6th, a fun Apex Legends co-op stream and then more Sekiro to end the week. Okay? That's the schedule for the week. And then, <clears throat> I'll be gone for about a week. No streams, because I'll be in Connecticut with my parents, and Kat will be meeting them. We'll be spending time together. Um, I'll be showing Kat all around Connecticut. Thanks for the money, dummies. Because that's exactly what you fucking are. A bunch of fucking empty-headed idiots who paid me money to get absolutely nothing out of it. Thanks. <laughs> wow. And yes, as I told you guys... More than likely what I will do, I'm not going to be filming, but I'll take a few pictures and stuff in Connecticut to share with you guys, uh, you know, on my Instagram and on my Twitter. Um, and then when I come back from Connecticut, I think more than likely what I'll do is do a, a podcast, um, which I almost never do. But I think what I'll do is a show where I can just kind of recap my time in Connecticut and what we did and everything without revealing too much personal shit, but basically just kind of giving you guys an idea of what happened while we were there and stuff like that, because I'm sure people are going to be interested. And rather than it just be me answering the same questions for a week straight, I think I'll do a podcast where I kind of recap all of that. Okay. Um, and then, back to gaming. Oh my god, sing the song from Titanic. Yeah. Far, wherever you are, how does the heart go on? <laughs> You're Number 86 here. will get another There's shot struck out swinging his last time. to fear, my face looks like a horse and I sleep with an old dude. Philip is a given name derived from the Greek Philippos. There it is, Philippos. Okay. Philippos. Yeah, I think it's either, it either means, like, lover of animals or lover of horses. It's a weird thing. I, if you look at, the, like, the roots of my name, it means a few different things, depending on your, the translation. So, what Lover of animals. What pasta do you prefer? I prefer a penne. Oh! Easy to eat. Oh! Phil's a faggot. Phil's fat. Phil's a loser. Phil's a beggar. Phil's a racist. Phil's a scammer. DSP is a pedophile. DSP is a thief. DSP is a greedy fuck. This guy's a bitch. I have a micro penis. <laughs> Alright, I'm not dead, but I swear to God, I wish I fucking was.